Once there lived a pussy cat who was very sleek and fat. As for his trait, warm things he made, hats and mittens for cats and kittens. On fine day, the furry cat, whistling in his workshop set. When in came a dog, out of the fog, he made a low bow and he yelped. Hello! After he had yelled, he pulled out a pail. Then he said to the cat, Have a look at that. I've got no hat, and the winter's near. It's all too bad. I'll freeze, I fear. If it comes out nice, I will pay any price. What do you say? Okay. How long will it take? Oh, less than a week. To oblige a friend, I'll be double quick. Soon the hat isn't soon the coat. Oh no, Mary Play, come on Saturday. It won't be head, but a very peach. The envial were end of every inch. As for the money that can wait, we'll talk it over, never too late. Sewing a hat isn't sewing a coat. Goodbye, cat. And of the dog's throat, on Saturday morning, the dog turned up, shaking and shivering like a wretched pup. Is it ready, my hat? Oh no, they said. And where is the cat? Not at home yet. Before the doorstep, on a mat, frozen Mr. Doggy sat. When down the street came Mr. Cat in a brand new lambskin hat. Tile saw the dog and he sat. Waiting for me, I bet. You'll be getting your heads, don't worry. But don't be in such a hurry. Thought it isn't a coat, but a head. It takes time, a job like that. I sprinkled the pelt before tea. Now I've got to cut it, you see? Too bad, said the dog. Too bad that you haven't yet finished the hat. But maybe you will tell me, plan. When can I see you again? I'm coming here not to chat, but to get my hat, Mr. Cat. Come on, Wednesday, but please don't grumble. The further fuzzy mumbled. So again the unlucky dog came on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Good day! Now it's ready, I hope. Good day! Lovely weather! Nope! But here their voices, rose in pitch, they told each other which, which is which, and finished with a noisy rustle, involving claw and tooth and muscle. You're just a thief! And you're a crook! You pig! You brat! Things went from bad to worse, till, till it got to court, of course, where the judge and jury said, who promptly ordered. Someone both and the dog and cat. The swindler cat and swindler dog both came to court at ten o'clock. Would judge the case and where and how? I see no need to say. But ever since that famous role, the furrier ran away. He disappeared, and what is worse, took with him all his stock of furs. And since the cheeky further, of all our cats was sire, to get their own back on the tribe is what all dogs desire. On seeing one, an honest pup starts growling at the cat, as if he wants to ask again. Well, what about my head? The cat just hides in reply and spits from shame or fright, just like the cat was sorry I made up my mind to write.